So today we're going to be using the cookies and cream core performance way with another Chef Bob recipe and today we're going to be making homemade whoopie pies or homemade Oreos. Um, after seeing one of my students today in class eating a whoopie pie, I, think, I thought to myself, let's give it a go. So let's give this one a whirl. Dry ingredient wise, 50 grams of the extra fluffy pancake mix, a little bit of baking powder, 3 grams of Splenda, 8 grams of the sugar-free fat-free pudding mix, and 10 grams of cocoa. So we're going to give ourselves a nice little chocolate base. Um, wet ingredient wise, I have one egg white stiffened to a firm peak, again about 3 to 5 minutes with a hand mixer. What we're going to do is add a little bit of vanilla extract into our dry, as so. And I'm going to do a dash of milk. So I got my almond milk here. I'm going to use around 15 to 20 grams or so. Just a little wet in there to keep it together. And last but not least, we're going to fold in our egg white at the end. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's the cookies and cream about? This is going to be the filling for our whoopie pies. So we're going to bake our whoopie pies, and then we're going to use the filling, which I have right here in a bowl, which was 20 grams of cream cheese, and 75 grams of Greek yogurt and regular plain yogurt. So around 6 ounces and 20 grams of the fat-free cream cheese, 20 grams of the core performance whey. Um, I'm going to fold this together like I have in my all my other videos, and I'm going to come back, and then we're going to line up our muffin tray, and we're going to get these bad boys in the oven. Now, take a muffin tray, cooking spray, and make sure to get these really good for when we make our little cookies or our little Oreos, whoopie pies, whatever you want to call them. Because we're not going to put a lot of the batter, which is pretty thick, at the bottom. You just want to put enough in there to spread around and cover the bottom. So this way when they cook, they come out flat. And that's how we want them. They're going to rise, but you want to make sure they're a little bit on the flatter side. So evenly distribute your batter into each of the muffin containers and spread it out with your spoon. And then what we're going to do, place it in the oven at 350, which should be preheated for about 10 minutes. These won't take long. They're very small, very short. Pull them out, let them cool for a bit, and then we're going to put our stuffing together and make our homemade whoopie pies. about 10 minutes in the oven and these came out nice little small circles which we're going to be using for our whoopie pies. So I'm going to pull out our cookies and cream pudding that I mixed up. On our plate I have the bases and all we do take the pudding put that in between as so take a whoopie pie place it right on top and you will complete the process with all the rest. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, will be your celly court. Cookies and cream, whoopie pies, or little mini Oreos. Hope you enjoy the recipe.